What is going on today, guys? We are back with another episode of Fear the Night. Now, before we get off and start with today, we got to talk about a few things first. Now, lately I have been doing a lot outside of the episodes on here. I am making a guide video on how to best find materials and also the other ways to get them. So, just to note, we have been getting a lot of loot that is not featured in the regular episodes, but there is a big guide video coming out which will basically teach all the ways to get chemicals, recycled metal, recycled plastic, how to get resin, how to get aluminum, where to get metal, and that sort of stuff. So, that being said, I just got back from the last part of my guide video, which is the best spot to find recycled metal and recycled plastic. Now, this is the junkyard, which you will see in the guide video more, but I wanted to show you guys to start the episode what we got for loot and just how much we got in a short period of time. So, this first scout from here down, starting at the mechanical parts, all come from the junkyard. We got almost 200 mechanical parts, we got 150 makeshift parts, and we got about 400 shrapnel. So, that's just one scout now. In this one, this is all recycled material that comes out of the junkyard. The junkyard is honestly the best, best way in the game to get this stuff. All this loot that I got in here is what I was going to show you with the shovel. Now, in the guide video, you will see and get explained more about this stuff, but this is just recycled material that I got from there. In this one is just a leftover pile. But in my repair scout from the tomato down is everything we got out of the junkyard as well. We got three sawed off shotguns, almost 2,000 rounds of rifle ammo, which includes what I have on me. We got almost 500 rounds of shotgun ammo and we got a couple hundred well actually we got almost 500 rounds of handgun ammo as well now I did get a couple grenades I was using the grenades to aggro them but this I finally got a lucky drop on getting an activation code for them so now coming up soon we will be doing our enforcer hack but, I wanted to say, all this stuff is part of a bigger picture video. The guide video, I am hoping to get out by Friday. Or, well, sorry, Monday. Because I do have a bit more to do on it yet. And it needs to all be edited and pieced together. So, I know a lot of this is you guys are not going to be seeing yet. So just bear with me in the fact that I'm going to have a huge guide video coming out. It is huge. Now, today's episode, we had said we are going to go up to Area 2 Cave and seal that off. We are going to do that today. That is one of the major things on our agenda today. However, first things first... I want to get some safes put down. We are running out of, of room. We've been getting a ton of loot because of that video. And honestly, I kind of want to do this and get rid of this one quick. There we go. Because now we are going to start removing all these and get 
this all placed in as safes. Now, I did make all the aluminum we got into aluminum alloy, and it's not much. I mean, it is... It really isn't. As you can see, I have 19 on me, and my repair scout has 100. That is it. Because we made a couple safes with it, we repaired our weapon a couple times, but that is all we have. Now, in this safe, you will also see a lot of loot that we've been getting from the guide video. Now, you guys will be seeing this footage. There's still a lot more to do. And I want to make sure it's good. I don't want it to be a half-assed video. But, as you can see, there, this all, all this recycled metal and plastic, come from a loot run that I showcased the end of it in the video. Now, what we did was we took a loot run off camera over to this area now this is all lootable houses and this is a big house kind of like what we have now and it is just packed with loot we're going to be doing some cooking today on camera with our uh, with our oven now I did have to I did have to make a refrigerator because all the food I got I didn't want to spoil before we had a chance to make the video so I do I do have a refrigerator made now but oh, I also have the generator running full-time over there as well just to make sure that we don't that it didn't run out before we could use it as well. But like I said, we've gotten just a ton of ammo. And I will show you guys some more of this action at the junkyard. The junkyard point of interest is one we will capture, but that is a point of interest you don't capture until you get the enforcers you want. Because that's really the, the best spot to hack the enforcers especially if you're playing as a solo player it is doable at other locations but it is beyond difficult at some of them so anyway what we're going to do is being it's almost dark these guys are just gonna stay here but we're going to fast travel over and as you can hear the generator is running I have a lot of gas in it. Not a ton, but it is quite a bit. Just to make sure that it kept going. And we got a refrigerator now. I did take out the stove, obviously because the oven has everything that the stove did, so we don't need it. I am going to be putting probably... Uh, I might put another refrigerator in here, but this has some extra bits of food that won't fit. Whoops. And in here, here is a lot of the stuff we brought back. Now, it's not everything. A lot did spoil. This stuff spoils ridiculously fast. I mean... Even in the refrigerator, it goes pretty quick. But today, what I want to do is I want to make up a bunch of this fruit-flavored fruit tea. Now, we do have some echinacea, not a ton, but I wanted to make this right away. And, well, actually... We've seen the fruit flavored tea. Let's try the veggie soup out. Why don't we do that instead? We won't be able to make a lot of it, but let's just grab our tomatoes. Now we're going to come over here 
and as you can see, one vegetable doesn't matter what, one bottle of pure water, 10 echinacea. So we're going to make 17 of them. It takes a while. Will we be making other stuff? Oh yeah. But we got to let a lot of the stuff we got go bad. And like I said, we will do looting videos on camera more now. It's just I have to get this guide video done outside of our normal episodes. And once that comes out, you guys will see exactly what I have been doing. It's short clips of each area and where is like the easiest and best spot to find the stuff. Or in some cases, the only spot. But, like I said, that should be out. Hopefully, not too long. Now, we can make... We can make some of this other stuff just to show it. I will make some veggie stewed chops just to show you guys it. It's a lot of the stuff is way more than we need. Like 150 food, it takes forever if you're not fast traveling to drop 150 food. Water on the other hand, water goes down really quick. So, these will go through, especially when we're fighting, like we're going to take over that cave. If we get hit a couple times, you know, we'll just take this, then we don't have to use echinacea. You guys know. So, I love this fruit flavored tea for that reason. It's great for infection, good for water. I mean, water goes down way quicker than infection in almost every case, but... It's still great to have. I mean, I don't know. We will need to get a lot more echinacea, though, as we make more of this stuff. But, like I said, today's video is definitely going to be sealing the Area 2 cave. Now, for this, we just need fatty meat and any vegetable. So, again, we come over to our refrigerator and... You'll see we do have a bunch of fatty meat. We're just going to take a stack of that. And why not use potatoes? So come here. Craft all ten of these. Again, it takes a little bit to make. But, like I said, it, any of the vegetables, it doesn't matter which. As you can see, it shows you a picture of tons of different vegetables. You could use combinations of vegetables like say you have one tomato and one carrot or one potato and one tomato you know it doesn't matter what you use it all works out the same the only thing is you have to have the meat right other than that use whatever you can find generally when you're looting the fridges at the houses you get a combination of stuff like, this is kind of like a pattern I noticed when looting them. A lot of times you will find meats and vegetables, or meats and fruits. Sometimes you'll find all three in there together. You can find just fruit and vegetables in there. So, you know, it it varies. I don't think there's really a set pattern to like maybe there is maybe each type of house has a set loot that's going to be in the refrigerator but it could also vary because like we saw at the area 4 gas station especially those three pallets that can have mechanical parts in them the first time we went there only one had them in it the last time I was there all three had them so the game is a bit random. Oops. Now we can put those back, put that back in here, and as you can see, bam. It expires. It takes an hour. No, yeah, an hour of in-game time. And they expire. So now in the fridge, does that change? 
Yes. Big time. As you can see, over nine hours before the first one will expire. That is a lot. So, for now, we're going to leave this stuff in here. Because, well, actually, oops, I keep turning this thing off. Actually, I'm going to take some of the soup here and use that instead. I'm going to come in here, drop off my tainted water, and empty bottles, put those potatoes in here. Most of this stuff will expire before we get to use it. Not a big deal. There's, especially later on, we will get so much more of it, it's not a big deal. But, alright, I think that's, that should be good enough. And, uh, hot bar that. And let's fast travel back over to the main shelter. Now, yes, it is very dark. Um, I will skip through the rest of the night. And I will see you guys again in the morning when we go up to the cave. Alright guys, as you can see, it is light out again. Now, there's a couple things I want to do before we go. The first is, we can now access two pieces of plate armor. Now, they are expensive. Ten duct tape. 5 license plates, 50 metal each, but they are well worth it. So we're going to craft these up before we even head out. And in today's video at the Area 2 Cave, we will be showcasing that SMG that we made. Now, the biggest reason I didn't take it out before was the lack of rifle ammo. Because unfortunately... For some reason, the developers thought it necessary to make an SMG run on rifle ammo. I have no idea why, but I guess it is what it is. So, we are going to be making these up. As you can see, 10 more seconds left, then we can put them on. They do look really funky. I'm not exactly sure how you get a stop sign out of license plates and duct tape, but, you know, let's put it on. 180 versus one and a quarter, and one and a quarter versus 180. So, big jump up to 527. So, I'm going to drop these. I don't need them. You can save yourself a pair of backup armor. Eventually we will make backup armor. And just have it set aside in a crate. For that. But as you can see. We have the SMG. Now. This will go. In my number 4 slot. Take this out. And reload it. Now yes. Rifle ammo. Why? I have no idea. But we are going to take a bunch of rifle ammo with us. Are we going to use that all? I doubt it. But we're just going to have it with us just in case. I'm also going to have the bow. Whoops. The bow on my hot bar for whatever reason in case we need it. As you can see, we're almost out of arrows. I have not taken a, the time to make them. But I will make them at some point. But, let's, let's get on the way up there. Another thing, you notice my scouts are getting pretty high level. I've been putting them to work a lot lately. So now, as you know, this is the Area 2 cave. That is where we're heading. We do not need anything special for that. As you know, it takes wood to close off 
or seal up the cave and there's already piles of it there so we don't need to worry about bringing any with us but anyway guys I'm going to walk there off camera get the scouts up there with me I'm gonna drop them at my shelter and I will be back to you guys as soon as we get there all right guys we're just pulling up on the mine now so it's about time to head on in and test out this new SMG now I've never used an SMG because I didn't like the fact before that they run on rifle rounds however I have heard that they are very good but I've yet to test it myself as you can see this is our sh our shelter up here um, I was up here one night in the middle of the night and the infected are were a lot more than I could handle so I ended up just sitting on the roof of my shelter and I ended up actually running off to a different shelter because they were just they were just pouring in on me but enough about that we're going to get rid of a few things here that we don't need extra water now I did bring stuff to repair my mining helmets so I am going to repair both of these as you can see it takes recycled metal recycled plastic and one battery every time you repair it so I'm going to get both of them made just in case I don't think we will end up needing both but just in case I don't want it going dark while we're doing this so let's get on in here like I said leaving them guys behind pick up some of this quick on the way in All right, let's see what this thing can do. Oh. Okay, that thing's mean. Damn. Wow. Now I can't wait to get that MP5. All right, guys, helmet on. Let's clear these babies out. Yeah, even with body shots, that don't take very many hits. Although you do attract the rest of the horde pretty bad. This thing just cuts through them. Even the big ones. Now, I know the lighting's a bit funky right now. The helmet doesn't work too well right out here for some reason. I can't even see him. Okay, there we go. I think controlled burst to the head is probably the best way to go. Because, yeah, it, it just, it cuts through him like nothing. Oh, that other one disappeared. That's all right, though. Yeah, for some reason, it is not lighting up this very good at all. I don't know how good you guys can see, but... It just is not... Lighting it up worth a crap. This gun, though. 
Good Lord, this thing just... It just cuts through them. All right, there's our there's our fruit tea. Now, as you know, I don't take the hemostats. I have no need for them. I do want the antibiotics, if they have any. It's about the only thing I want off these guys anymore. I will take the water, though. You can never have too much water. All right. Let's push on. Oh, there's a clipping issue there. See, I can't hit him. It's going right through him. Crouch down, and then you can. Now I'm going to switch to the rifle and just pick these guys off. Slide over. Boom. Yeah, this, what's that? Oh, it's a pipe hammer. Now these are pipe hammers and such like that you will find around the map sometimes. They're basically a one-off use weapon. You cannot repair them. So, as you can see, it does 90 damage, but like I said, unfortunately, it does not repair. So, if you want to use it, go ahead. I'm not going to. I'm going to drink me another one of them. And now, as you can see, there is a bunch of stuff around on the ground. More of these. What's this, a torch or another pipe hammer? Well, it is a torch. Huh. We don't really need that either, though. But... All these things are either hemostats or the fruit tea. So we'll go around, pick them up quick before we start this. I'm not going to keep the hemostats. They do only recover 10 HP. So, honestly, I'd, I'd really like to know why they put them in. Because 10 HP, I mean, if we're getting hit now, and if we're actually taking damage, 10 HP isn't isn't jack, unfortunately. So, as you remember, these piles do have the wood we need. As you can see, you need 200 now. The last mine was only 100. You just go around, loot all these piles. There should be plenty. I can, oh, here it is. It's over here, hiding. There should be plenty of wood down here to get you your repair on that. I believe there's one more pile. There should be four. Hmm, maybe not. Alright, we have enough. So now, as you remember, help the repair. We're going to use our SMG for this again. And the zombies, as you can see, here they come. There is a lot more that come. But all in all, these early ones, not hard to do, especially if you have something like this. This is just, honestly, this is probably way too much for these zombies right now. Even as you can see, when we don't even hit the body shots on, or we don't hit the head shots, we get body shots. It just cuts right through them. So remember, repair in between the waves that spawn, take down the waves, 
and repeat. It doesn't take too long. Uh, you guys might not have the same setup I do when you come in to do this. Don't worry, you can, it's not, these guys aren't that high level. Uh, so, just take your time, do it at your own pace. Don't, don't think you gotta do it exactly like I am. If you need more time to clear out the waves, take the time. Now that's what I was talking about with guns being really weird to use when they are close up to you. It is quite funky shooting. Now also, you don't even have to help the repair at all. It will repair on its own, slowly. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Forget I mentioned that. So yeah, I guess it does only repair as you repair it, which, yeah, that's odd. But I guess that's a good thing because otherwise you could just start the repair and just walk out of the cave and it would automatically do it, so. Nearly there, guys thousand HP to go can we do it before they get to us BAM and it is done alright guys we have captured or rather sealed off the area 2 cave now whenever you come down here to mine there will be no more zombies in your way Now we're not going to mine right now. I think I forgot to empty my scouts. Now you do have to crouch under that. And for some reason this just is not lighting this up good at all this time. Hmm. But alright guys, like I said, we've captured it. We've showcased this SMG. This SMG is a freaking monster I'm still not a fan of the fact that it takes rifle rounds but I guess for the amount of damage it does it's probably good that the ammo is more costly so what are we going to do for the rest of the episode well I think what we might do is I want to go get a jump point over here. Now, I don't remember if this is a big house or not. If it is a big house, we can't. We're not going to take it. We might just actually capture this jump point because then it's in the middle of all three there. But, like I said, I do want a jump point for getting to both of these because, obviously, we will be back to mine more you know what I actually should do is we actually should go back to that mine so because in the last if you remember the last time we were up here yeah, these guys are full damn it I forgot to take the stuff out but anyway the last time we were up here we did not get the full footage of the mine So, I didn't get to really show you guys those odd spider zombies, but let's run there off camera quick, and I will show you them guys again. Alright guys, we are right, just right across from the mine there, and this was this shelter that I thought we might be able to take. It is directly in between the mine and the area to farm resin at the lumber yard. Now this is area six so i don't know if we could take this point of interest or, or this shelter or not this is quite a meaty shelter um i really don't know if we we'd be able to do it i don't have 
the power tools right now. I do have plenty of recycled stuff though. But for now, let's go check out the mine so I can show you them spider zombies quick. And we might have to try it. I mean, if it's too bad, we could just bail off of it. But I really want that shelter. It is in a great location up here. So, yeah. We might just have to have to man up and give it a go. Alright, I want to actually find some power tools first. Yeah, that's a preview of what the what the zombies are going to look like doing that. So, okay, we got plenty of power tools now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, ooh, we leveled up again. All right, we unlocked our other piece of plate armor. And uh, the pipe rifle. Now, you might be wondering why I'm just taking more into weight now. I have 200 food, 200 water, 200 infection. I think that's, that should be plenty. I don't mm -hmm. think I'm going to need any more than that. But let's get down here. Let's check this out first. And then mm -hmm. when we're done... We can decide. So I'm going to switch this around. Put that on. I've ne I haven't showed you guys the grenades yet, so maybe we'll have to lob one and so you guys can see just how good they are. Come here, little zombies. That made short work of them. Level 40s, by the way. So, alright. As you remember last time, we come down exactly this way. Now. And run. Because it. Holy shit. Almost 53,000 XP. From that and here comes the spider zombies they're like they're upset okay that guy's actually dead too okay SMG Oh, I've encountered this before. You can hear a zombie still screaming. There's actually one of these bodies that is still technically alive. Is that not the goofiest thing ever? So, I just want to say, the grenade, holy crap. I was... Definitely not expecting that. That was that was freaking nuts. So I actually want to go around the other side here and take a little look. It's been quite a while since I've been down here. I do know there is a lot, a lot to clear out in here, including a bunch more of them spider zombies. But grenade OP. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> now, as you can see, big guys there. Let's welcome them to our party, shall we? Get a little look. 
<laughs> Holy crap. 24K XP. 24K. Okay, I gotta say. SMG for the frickin' win. This thing is a god. Grenades? Unfrickin' believable. But, alright guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of that. What am I stuck on here? Hello? I guess you can get hung up on a dead body of a spider zombie. But alright guys, we are going to go up top. We are going to take, try to take that shelter. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. But, I think we have the firepower for it. We might not have enough bullets, but... Yeah. So, what have we learned so far in this episode? Grenades... ...are nutty. Literally, grenades are nutty. That was unreal. I mean, we got about 80,000 XP out of two grenades there. That's unbelievable. But all right, we're going to try this. Can we get it? I don't know. I'll be back to you guys as soon as the generator is ready to go. Alright guys, generator is ready. We are ready to do this. Let's add some gas. Now, what I did was I took the bow off my hotbar, moved my grenades over, and I put one thing of medical spray up there. Just in case, for some reason, we get into that much trouble. I don't foresee us getting into that much trouble, but I've never, I've never taken a shelter in area six so let's get it started we do have grenades if we need them i hope we don't but gun is really weird up close like I said you can just let them go past you if you want shoot them from the back side here comes the first big guy reload this get off me Honestly, this isn't as bad as I was anticipating. We are probably going to run out of ammo, though. What I think I might do is I will just save the SMG when the big guys come, and let's go. Let's go with the Claymore for these guys. And here's the big guy again. So switch. Take him down. Yeah, this isn't nearly as bad as I was expecting. Reload this while we wait. Get our claymore back out. And let's... Get him off the generator. Yeah, this isn't going too bad. We're about two-thirds of the way through it. 
The only thing is these zombies are higher level. And you gotta watch out for the ones that do that, of course. But other than that, Get in here. Oh, he almost got a hold of me. Generator still got plenty of HP left. We'll repair it up when we're done. Now, as you can see, though, when they do actually land a hit on us, they do significant damage. All right, I need to repair this quick. I think that's the last wave. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. We have captured our first base up in Area 6. Let's have a look. Now... Somewhat similar to what the house we already have. You know, it has one, two, three, four, five medium slots. One, two, three, four, five, six small slots, and one big one. So there is a little bit of trade off with that, but it does come with one of these. Obviously, we're going to swap that out for safe if we use this shelter like that but that's going to conclude the episode for now i'm going to fast travel home and get a bunch of metal spikes made up for this i'm going to replace this door with the metal door and let's get this place defended and in the next episode i'm not 100 percent sure what we're going to do yet but I know we will be making more grenades. I will definitely need to have more ammo for this thing because this thing is, is pretty sweet, I got to say. But thank you guys for being here. If you enjoyed the episode, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you in the next episode. Thank you guys.